My name is Wendy Harbinson. And my name is Eric Harbinson, and we are missionaries in the city of Matagalpa, Nicaragua, which is about 3,000 miles south, southwest from North Carolina. We moved to Nicaragua March 19th. 2012. We knew as soon as our house sold, that's when we would be on the plane. About seven and a half years we've been here. A long time ago, I've had experiences in life that I knew in the future I'd be a missionary somewhere. And I think at one point that almost scared Wendy away. But we knew that someday we would be in the mission field and we looked several locations across the world and God brought us to a place called Nicaragua and we didn't know anything about Nicaragua before we came. All of the things that God had been doing in our life, preparing us, using us in service, were the things that he showed us would be available to us here. We knew we were to come to teach and to disciple. We did not know what it would look like and we did not know the language. But God has taken care of all the details since we've been here. And it's been neat to watch him make this come to life and help us to be able to do it because without him, this is impossible. We begin the week with Bible study in our home on Sundays. We meet from three to five. After we meet, we have snacks and fellowship. People uh, work on their English, but they also ask questions about the Bible and what it means to love the Lord and serve him. And then on Mondays, um, we go over to one of the communities that we work with in Solingalpa. We have worked in that community for almost six years. We have started, we started Bible studies there. We taught them about doing home visitation, evangelism. They took up uh, the Bible studies that we do with workbook studies that we've given to them. Initially we were teaching them and now we have them on a rotation of teaching themselves and we just go in support of them. It's usually Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're up in Hinotega working with Mariano with the Educated Child. And Eric is also working with the pastors and churches. Yes, we started, there are eight, church, eight groups up here, really five churches that they have that the children are located out of. And so we wanted to work with those pastors, establish relationships. This allows them to do both evangelism, to reach people for Christ, and also reach people in the difficulties that they're struggling with. And then we end the week on Saturday at Unan University in Madagalpa. We work with the students that are studying to be English teachers and God just opened up that door wide open for us. We help them with their English pronunciation, but in that they ask us questions about the Bible, they want resources for their church, they just, they come to our house wanting counseling. We're able to give out resources for them to read, um, to read. That has just been a real blessing. We use the university students for translators when we host teams. They come to our Bible studies on Sunday. And on other days, we go up to a community called San Dionisio, and we also help in a community called Santa Amelia. And from the university students, they, they want to learn English. They want to practice their English. And so we provide a safe place to do that. But in doing that, once they cross our threshold to our home, they recognize that what they're seeking is not all that God has to offer. They are hungry. They don't know what it looks like to serve the Lord. They don't know the Lord. But we've learned just by living life, being their parents, inviting them to our home, they see the difference, they see our faith and they knock on our door and say, can I come in and ask you to tell me about your God? And so we're able to be, like she said, parents to them, and it's a game changer when they come to our home. And this time during the country, with it being such a scary time for these young people, they need hope. And the fact that we, that we have stayed has given us a stronger voice um, to give them the hope they need and who to hope in. Our message to Patterson Grove is thank you um, from the bottom of our heart. We are just here, the feet on the ground, but we could not do it without you. You are just as much a part of this ministry as we are. We recognized that early mm -hmm. when we came to the mission field, even before we came. On the average, most mission ministries require about a thousand people because it takes people to pray. It takes people to participate and it takes people to support. 
And in all those ways, people are involved in ministry. And we know that because of the years that we've been here have proven that out. We are qualified in a lot of areas and God sends teams to do things that join us in ministry and bridge gaps. Well, it's been very interesting, timely, how God has provided people. As far as how a church can partner with us, there's many ways to partner in ministry because it's really not just a partnership with us as people. It's a mission ministry together that God is orchestrating. So we have, we're certain instruments in part of what's going on, but our connection requires people to do their parts at the times that they're needed. So it's the same thing as a church set up. A church can't function with a few people doing the work. A church needs to have people that are financially doing what they're supposed to do biblically. It requires people to do what they're supposed to do participating in the church. When you come into the church, you don't just come to receive, you come to be a part of the church. It's a dynamic involvement. And so in that way, in all those ways that the church functions on that end, it functions with the mission field as well. God gives you gifts to be involved in ministry. God gives you gifts of financial uh, support. And God gives you gifts for prayer. He also shows you how to pray. And He brings through the power of the Holy Spirit reminders of when and how to pray. And those things are essential in what we're doing. It can't function without that. We need you. And uh, we can't do this without you. But there's a lot of ways that you can participate. And God shows you and speaks to you on what ways those are. And you will know.